Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Tarif Hassan. I welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve the problems to scan multiple pages in Epson L3 110 scanner. To scan multiple pages, sometimes you face this that you are not getting multiple page scan option. So today, I will show that how to scan multiple pages in Epson L3 110 so much easily. And I will show that how to solve multiple scan problems in Epson L3 110 scanner machine. So normally when you go to scan, sometimes you do not get this option. This option is very important because if you want to scan multiple pages, I mean if you want to add more pages one, uh, when one page is done. So if you do not get this option, that time you can scan multiple pages. So some of my friends comment me that they are not getting this option. So how will we scan multiple pages? So today I'm going to show you that why do you face this problem during multiple pages? So first of all, when you need to scan any page, what do you do at first? At first you open your PC and you connect your scanner machine to your PC and then power on. Then you put a page into the machine. So then what do you do? Then you open the Epson scan to this software. So when you open this, so that time then you will get this option i mean the epson is scan to this software so here you can easily change the scan setting so some setting is very important to scan multiple pages so first of all you can see that uh, scan setting you can set it the default setting and you can change so next you have to do the document mode all right so if you do not set the document mode that time it will be you can't scan multiple pages so then you have some page settings like uh, document size what you can say it later a for size and so many pages whatever you like you can do it then you have to choose it that uh, image type so obviously you will set the color then you have the resolution setting here you can change easily the resolution setting then you can rotate it by changing the angle this option is not mandatory you can set it the default now i will tell the main important thing that you need to do so here you will get the image format and obviously you have to keep it the pdf file then uh, you can change the folder where the image file will be stored so now i will tell the most important thing uh, if you do not select it you will not get the multiple scan option and it is this add or edit pages after scanning this option is very important if you want to scan multiple pages so you have to check mark on this if you do not check mark on this you will not get this option i mean when one page is done that time you will not get this option if you do not check mark on this so what will be happened if you do not check mark on this after one page is done it will be saved on your the folder you have chosen here i mean here we have chosen the documents so one page will be stored here and you will not get the multiple scan option so to get the multiple scan option obviously you have to check mark on this so i am going to show you so here you will just check mark on this just click on it then it will be automatically check mark on this so if you check mark on this what will be happened then after one page is done then you easily get this option so if you need to scan more pages i mean if you want to add more pages then click on add and if you don't need to add any pages so click on save and if you want to cancel these operations just click on cancel whatever you like if you want to see that the page position and how it is this position then you need to click on edit if you click on edit then you will get this option i mean the page position and the page serial where is it located it will be helpful for you so from here you can easily rotate it here we have option and we can also delete the page uh, if you have any unnecessary pages if you want to remove it that time if you select a page and if you then click on this delete option then you can easily remove or delete any pages so this is the problem that if you check mark on this then you will get this option then you can easily add more pages i mean you can easily scan more pages so this option is very important so to scan multiple pages do not forget to check mark on this if you forget to check mark on this then you will not get this option and you can add more pages and you can scan multiple pages obviously you have to be very careful of it otherwise you you will not get this multiple scan option and then you can scan multiple pages now this is the thing i am going to talk to you that when you need to scan multiple pages obviously 
check mark on this and if you check mark on this there is no problem and you can easily get this option and by following this process you can easily scan multiple pages and i hope you understood that how to do it you can also follow my previous video i have uploaded two or three videos that how to scan multiple pages into one pdf you can also watch this video and watching this video you can easily understand that how to scan multiple pages but i made this video to show you that the problem you will face during the multiple scan that's why i made this individual video to help you that how to solve this problem that during scan multiple pages so i hope you understood that how to uh, solve this problem if my video is helpful for you please like comment and share and if you are new on my channel please subscribe my channel so that's all for today i will come to you again with an interesting topic till then stay safe stay healthy and pray for me goodbye see you again